In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this six steps hexagon shape infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this hexagon shape with six steps and I have given some different color combinations here. You can add the option and the detailed text here and in the center you can add the title slide or main headline of the slide. And I've created one more slide where I've used some different color combination. You can see here I've used totally different colors here and I've added some kind of a shadow effect as well. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free. And I've provided the link on the video description section of each video. And you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the triangle here. Just click the triangle and make the height as 5.15 and the width as 6. And make sure to align center, align middle and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to make somewhat transparent here then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then alt and using the right arrow key i'm going to rotate the shape or you can use this particular arrow as well so let me just use the alt key and the right arrow key alt hold the alt key 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 times i have to click it and then just place it here all right you can see here i'm going to select make a star kind look like this and then i'm go on top of this i'm going to add one hexagon shape for that go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the hexagon just click it here and then i'm going to rotate it and bring this the the corner the edges on the top so alt and one two three four five six times you have to click okay and then i'm going to give some different color here shape outline make it no outline and then height and width i'm going to give as six six here and put it here make sure this is also transparent so exactly we know how much it is coming here you can see here and then i'm just going to increase the size and you can see the small points here let me just send this to back okay and then i can just align this one to these corners you can see here and for this also i'm just going to align it all right so it looks something like this as you can see here i have created two triangles and one hexagon shape and it looks kind of a star here all right so once this is done uh, for uh, you know for uh, if something goes wrong we can have a copy of that for that reason I'm just going to duplicate the slide all right if everything is goes correctly we can delete this slide all right so let me just select this slide select all the objects okay or you can press ctrl a to select all the objects go to the shape format merge shape and fragment it okay it looks something like this you can see here all different different object it has created all right you can see so let me just control z this one and the center one i'm going to delete it okay and you can see here this object and this object i'm going to merge it all right so select this and this merge shapes and union it this one and this one you can see here merge and union this one and this union this and this make it a union this one and this one you can see here like this okay again union it this as well as this make it as a union and then this one already we have done so we can see here one two three four five six shapes we got it okay so undo this all right now the next thing what we need to do is to give a different color combination to it all right so let me just select this one go to the shape format and select the gradient fill here the gradient fill by default it will be four steps uh, four stops uh, i have used as the before that's the reason showing only two so i'm going to add three stops basically just click here to add one more stop so first stop i'm going to give some dark color here so go to the more color 
let me just choose a kind of a purple dark purple here click ok we can see here then the second one i'm going to choose more color i'm going to use some light purple and there is more lighter to it okay this one so you can see here three colors have selected then make sure the type should be selected as linear and the direction you can see here dark color should always come to the left side okay this is coming to the right side this is okay right you can see here more darker so similarly i'm going to copy the same color here and then first i'll just do a format painter and then uh, change the colors okay so go to the home tab use the format painter click it here now i'm going to change the color to some different colors so maybe a blue dark blue you can see here and a light blue color combination and make sure that again the direction should be you can see here the direction we have to just see where it looks yeah the direction looks perfectly all right now i'm going to select this one using the format painter i'm going to select this now give a different color combination here maybe i'm going to give this color combination you can see here all right and make sure that this is properly aligned as well as here the dark color should be there okay more darker you can see here it is more darker here again if you want to change the direction you can just change the direction the way you want okay you can see here then i'm just going to copy this one here give a different color combination maybe i'm going to give a green color dark green so dark green this a lighter green and more lighter green here all right so you can see here then again copy this here again change the color according to the requirement maybe this time let me just use a kind of different colors you can just choose maybe this one blue okay and then i'm going to choose some water lighter color and more lighter here okay so you can see here this color i have chosen again change the direction all right and then the last one again if you want to keep the same color it's up to you maybe let me just give some a dark brown color here and second color a little bit lighter and more lighter brown all right okay let me just check this one so it looks something like this you can do one more thing you can add some shadow effect also here for that go to insert shape select one rectangle draw a small rectangle all right shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give a color as black make it transparent somewhat and go to the effects soft edges increase the soft edges okay and then i'm going to sorry i'm going to bring it here rotate a little bit and put it here you can see here i'm going to increase the size all right press ctrl d to duplicate alt and the right arrow key three times and put it here all right you can see here again if you want you can just send this to back also so i'm just similarly i'm just going to copy one by one the shadow effect here you can see here sorry all right ctrl d again alt and right arrow key and last time no two more times you can see here and then this is the last time and align it properly so you can see here we have done the design which looks like this again if you want you can just send this to back also 
So, and before that, let's add some text here. Zero one option number. Make it center align. Make it bold. Increase the size to twenty eight. And I'm going to put it here. Color. I'm going to choose font color as white. Press Control D. One more will come here. Control D. You can see here. Again, it's up to you which color you want to choose. And then the last one. So this is my option number two. My option number three, four, five, and option number six. You can see here. And then go to the insert text box. You can add the detail text. I don't want this much large text. I'm delete this one. I'm going to delete that. Reduce the font size to maybe 12 or 14, and put it here. Press Control D. Add here. Press Control D. You can add here also. Make sure it is right aligned here. All right. Press Control D. one more here and for this press ctrl d that's it so you can see here we have added this hexagon with different color combinations again if you want you can do some basic animation effect to it